Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's affecting many people worldwide. It is a condition called long COVID. We'll explore the biological changes in the body after COVID-19. How it impacts different organ systems. And the steps you can take to manage and treat it. Let's get started. Long COVID is a condition where symptoms persist long after the initial COVID-19 infection has cleared. What's fascinating and challenging about long COVID is its variability. Different people experience different symptoms, and there's no clear relationship between the severity of the initial illness and the likelihood of developing long COVID. So what do we know about the biological changes in people recovering from COVID-19? These changes can occur even in those who weren't very sick initially, and they fall into a few key categories. First, there are disturbances in circulatory function. The virus enters our cells by attaching to an enzyme called AC2 on the cell membrane. During this process, ACE2 is destroyed. AC2 is crucial for circulatory health and has anti-inflammatory and anti-thrombotic effects. The deficiency of AC2 due to the virus can lead to various acute complications, and evidence shows this deficiency can persist into the recovery stage. Thirdly, we see mitochondrial distress. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of our cells, and their dysfunction can lead to fatigue and other systemic issues. Fourth, disturbances in the oral and gut microbiomes are common. These changes often involve a loss of beneficial bacteria and an increase in inflammation-inducing microbes. Probiotics have been shown to decrease the likelihood of developing long COVID. In addition to these four components, COVID-19 can cause damage to organs like the brain and lungs. Brain damage often involves the loss of grey matter, affecting cognitive functions, while lung damage can result in interstitial lung disease and a loss of pulmonary circulation. COVID-19 can also lead to metabolic issues like diabetes and high blood pressure. People who have had COVID are more likely to develop these conditions compared to those who haven't had the virus. Kidney damage is another potential complication. So, how do we treat long COVID? Our nutritional therapist's approach involves a systematic treatment plan that includes restoring gut and oral health, using antimicrobial natural products, probiotics and prebiotics, restoring ACE2, activity through a high polyphenol diet and specific supplements like vitamin D, resveratrol and curcumin, restoring mitochondrial function with supplements such as coenzyme Q10, niacin and NAC, to support mitochondrial health, rebalancing inflammation with nutrients and herbs like omega-3, alpha-lipoic acid, and andrographis to help modulate the immune response. In summary, a comprehensive and systematic approach can help treat and potentially reverse long COVID. Preventive measures during the acute phase of COVID, like conserving ACE2 function and balancing inflammation, are crucial. Addressing gut health is also key to managing this complex condition. I hope you found this information helpful. If you or someone you know is dealing with long COVID, share this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more health insights. Thanks for watching and take care.